My name is Tyler Reed. I am the application manager here at Go Engineer, and we are at the Los Angeles Clean Tech Incubator, also known as LACI. So this has been a two-day event. The first day was focused on automotive applications, and the second day will be focused on entertainment and industry uh, within 3D printing. So 3D printing brings a lot of advantages to both the automotive and entertainment industries. I would say that the main advantage right now is still prototyping uh, in a quicker fashion and a more cost-effective fashion. And 3D printing allows them to do it more cost-effectively, which means they get to do more iterations and in the end it helps them create better parts. So this type of show I think is extremely effective because it's so targeted to a particular industry that we get the right people in the room and we get them talking to each other and we get to learn from them and they learn from each other as well. And it becomes a little bit more intimate and we have better quality conversations. And we can identify needs a lot better as well. So it helps to have the Stratasys staff here asking questions what people from the automotive and entertainment industries need because they take that back to their development team and produce products for automotive and entertainment industry. I think we will start to see 3D printing really revolutionize the design and manufacturing space once we see additive manufacturing used more for production parts uh, because once parts go into production and once we can use additive manufacturing for these parts it opens up the door for us to design the parts specifically for additive manufacturing and that moving of the threshold of what's manufacturable is going to be revolutionary because the parts can be more optimized for their specific purpose whether it's weight reduction whether it's designing around certain thermal qualities or certain say resonant frequencies, it's going to open up the door for design for additive.